मैडम द फिगर गिवेन बाय द रिजर्व बैंक वाज ओनली ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल क्लोजर्स एंड सिकनेस नाउ ईच ईयर इट इज इंक्रीजिंग विद ईच ईयर इट इंक्रीजेज दिस मीन्स दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द पॉलिसी ऑफ दिस गवर्नमेंट एंड स्टिल इफ वी अलाउ दिस गवर्नमेंट टू रिमेन इन पावर मोर एंड मोर क्लोजर्स विल बी देयर मोर एंड मोर इंडस्ट्रियल सिकनेस विल बी देयर एंड देन देयर विल बी मोर एंड मोर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट नॉट सिंपली ड्यू टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ पॉपुलेशन बट इवन द एम्प्लाइड वंस आर गोइंग टू बी थ्रॉन आउट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट देयर इज अ वेरी सीरियस क्राइसिस इन जूट इंडस्ट्री देयर इज सीरियस क्राइसिस इन शुगर इंडस्ट्री हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दिज क्राइसिस इज देयर एनी एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर दिस दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द पॉलिसी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट बींग परसुड बाई श्री राजीव गांधी एंड विच वॉज परस्यूड बाई प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट आल्सो I am not simply blaming the Rajiv Gandhi government the various governments have been responsible for this why do i say this you see the position of rise in prices now it is a figure given to the house by the government it is not my figure if we take 1971 as the base year with the index as 100 which was also the year when indira gandhi on the election on the slogan of garibi hatao what is the rise in wholesale price now it has reached a figure of 415 this is the wholesale price index that means from 1970 71 The wholesale price index has increased more than four times. Is this the way for Garibi Hatao? According to the Hindu, the consumer price index was 588 in 1984. The base year for this is 1960, when the index was 100. Now in December 1987. it has reached 75 though the real price hike is not properly reflected in the consumer price index that means people are facing more and more serious distress in their daily life due to rise in prices who is responsible for this it is the policy of the congress government which is responsible yesterday the railway budget was presented through it you have contributed for the rise in inflation then you have increased the postal and telecommunication charges in addition to the administered prices apart from the aspect of parliamentary democracy to which i will come a little later is there any alternative policy before this congress government nothing i am glad that my friend has come back yesterday he moved the motion supporting the president's address what from what he spoke he should have voted against his own motion he has raised a question of grievances of the farmers the problems of the people why the farmers are going against the congress that is what i am asking my friend to consider i have full respect for president i am not talking about him personally now you see how there has been the growth of monopoly in india through the five year plans belas tatas and others are becoming big and monopolists throughout the five year plans belas assets before independence were 
below rupees 40 crores bella's assets now have gone to rupees 5000 crores you can understand who is gaining by these five year plans now i can give you the information about the tatas before independence their assets were below rupees 40 crores now their assets have gone beyond 40000 crores on the other side you see the figures of unemployment the government has now stopped giving total figures of unemployment the figures we get are only those made available from the employment exchanges now according to the employment exchanges the present figure is 31 million when mrs gandhi became the prime minister for the first time this figure was 45 lakhs now it is more than 3 crores each year this figure of unemployment is increasing each year the assets of the big monopoly houses are becoming much bigger this is the economic policy the congress government is pursuing and when the man becomes monopolist he increases his power to corrupt the entire administration he purchases ministers and others my friend yesterday said that the capitalists have lobbies to grease the palms of the big bosses i fully agree with him what is what i am telling and this is the government which is responsible for all this you accept that capitalists are greasing the palms of the top leaders and you are telling the people that india is advancing progressively in a big way this is the contradiction in which you are placed do you realize what is the indian situation now now in today's newspaper hindustan times a news item has come that chandra swami has millions and millions of dollars shifted to foreign countries i may point out there is not one chandra swami but there are large number of chandra swamis in india shifting their money to swiss banks against that the whole country is now agitating to find out the sources of corruption you know on the plea of shortage of money the government are increasing the postal charges and telephone charges yesterday all the opposition leaders protested against these increases your argument is that there is no money train fare is increased freight charges are increased the argument is that there is no money thousands and thousands of factories are being closed because they have become non viable so when the workers are demanding nationalization you are saying no nationalization there is no money rajiv gandhi has told in some convention that we are not a hospital that when any private industry is sick we will take it over get it cured and hand it over to the private man so no factory should be taken over by the government several lakhs of workers are thrown out of job due to the closure of industries